Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have not. It will really help my channel grow. I just recently hit 3,000 subs, which is amazing in just six months. I can't wait to see where I am in a year. Thank you guys. It's all thanks to you pretty much. So what we're going to be building today is a hidden tree door. Now I went with a mumbo jumbo design, which is way more simple than CMBs. I did do a CMB design as well over here, but that one's a lot more elaborate and confusing. So I, I stuck with the mumbo mumbo jumbo design but it is all my redstone behind it none of the redstone is his this is all mine and just like cmbs it's all mine i don't like to use other people's designs in my tutorials well other people's redstone designs in my tutorials so what we're gonna do is click this lever down my tree will open up and we can go down and now when we come down here it's like oh here's my secret base what not and then when we want to leave we just click this button hop on out and we're done and we click the lever and we go <clears throat> all right guys so for this build we're gonna need at least a seven by five spacing and we're gonna have to dig down at least six. And if you wanna know what the resources are you're gonna need for this build, they're all in the bottom HUD bar. That's exactly what you're going to need. I think I got a little bit more redstone dust than I need. So starting from the bottom left-hand side, we're gonna count over three. So one, two, three. And then we're gonna count up three. One, two, three, and we're gonna put our triple piston right here. Now, if you see my vertical triple piston extender, this is what we're building right now. So starting from the right-hand side, we're gonna put a block here and a block one over. Next, we're gonna put some dust right in the middle of them, a block on top of the dust, a torch on top of the block, a block on top of the torch, and then a torch off to the right-hand side that will be in the off position. Next, we're gonna put a block right on top of the off torch with a repeater coming out of this block going towards the sticky piston set to one tick delay. And then we're gonna take one of our blocks of choice and put it right in front of the repeater because we will be able to see this block when going down into our tree base. Next, we're going to go to the backhand side of this creation and put a torch right here off to, on the side of the block next to the sticky piston. There we go. <laughs> we're going to put a repeater coming out of this on torch right here, set to four ticks delay. A block in front of it with redstone dust on top. Then two blocks up from there, delete the bottom one, it's not needed. And a torch on top of this block, the torch should go off. Next, we're going to make a block come out from the off torch with dust on top of it. And then we're gonna go th out three blocks. So one, two, three. And then we're gonna put three repeaters facing towards the sticky pistons. One, two, three, like so. And this one's gonna be set to four ticks delay. This one's gonna be set to four ticks delay. And this one's gonna be set to one tick delay. Next, we're gonna put a block right on top of this torch next to this one tick delay repeater. So a block right up from that. And then a torch off to the side of it. It should go off. And then we'll make this nice little line going into this off torch so you know which side you put it on is right. Next, we're gonna put a block on top of this off torch right here. And then a repeater coming out of this block right here set to three ticks delay. Next, we're gonna put a block right in front of this three tick delay repeater. And a block right in front of this one tick delay repeater. And we're gonna put dust right on top of this block. Now we're gonna swing back to the front hand side. And we're going to put a torch right here on top, of the, bleh, a torch right here on this block. A repeater right on here set to two, no, wait, one tick delay, set it to one tick delay, and then this one going into the repeater, into the, yeah, repeater, into the sticky piston set to two ticks delay. So now if I put a lever right here on this block and switch it down, it should extend the triple piston, beautiful, and it should retract it. Beautiful. Now what we're gonna do is go back to the backhand side of this creation, and we're gonna put a block right here next to this off torch. You'll know which torch I'm going for because it's the highest torch right now. It's at the highest point of the creation. And then we're going to put a block over from that block and up a block and then block two blocks over this way. And then going from the off torch right here, we're going to put a repeater here set to four ticks delay. Another repeater coming out of this block set to four ticks delay and another one set to four ticks delay. And then we're going to put a sticky piston right here. Right in, right in front of the four tick delay repeater and right above this dust right here. And then we could put our, I'm gonna just put a block of choice on top of our triple piston for now. Next, we're gonna put a block right here in front of this dust. You should be back at the front hand side where you'll see this torch right here and you'll see the repeater right here. And we're gonna put a repeater on top of the block, set it to four ticks delay. And then a block out from that repeater with dust on top of it. Then go to the left hand side of it and put 
three blocks up, so one, two, three. And then put a torch on this block. It should activate everything. Next, we're going to go up one more block from here. And then one block over to the left with dust on top of both blocks. And then we're going to put another sticky piston right here on this block with a grass block on top of it. That's going to be our retracting grass block. And then to the left hand side, we're going to put a torch on this block right here. Then we're going to come down a block. So come up two blocks right here and then put dust on top of this block. And the dust should come on due to this torch. And then we're going to put one block over towards the right and then put dust on top of it. This should retract everything. And it'll pull the block away. Beautiful. All right, guys. So what we want to do next is come to this bottom left hand side right here and put a block down one and then put dust on top of it. And then we're going to bring our dust down again and bring it all the way over here and then come up a block and make our dust go up a block. Next, we're going to go two blocks up, delete this bottom one because it's not needed and put a torch on top of this block. It should go off. Then a block over the torch and then come over to this side and put a block coming off away from the torch and then put a repeater here set to one tick delay. Next, what we're going to do is put another block of choice right here with a button on it and then a block right underneath it and a block over to the side above this dust right here and then put some redstone dust right here. So when we are inside, we want to press this button and get out and then put another block of choice right here so you can't see anything and another one up from here. And that's it. We should be done. So if I click that, if I put a block right above this dust right here and then put a lever on it, everything should attract. There we go. So now what I like to do from this part right here actually is I like to just retract it real quick. And then we're going to come up a grass block and over a grass block. You could delete that one. And then what I do is I just take some bone meal and a oak sapling, not that, <laughs> a oak sapling. So I put my oak sapling on there with bone meal and I grow a tree, which this one is horrible. I was hoping for a bigger tree, so I'm just going to shave it off a bit. There we go. That's our really stupid looking tree. <laughs> and then all we have to do is just delete this one right here and delete this block right here in front of your sticky piston. So delete that one. And then we just extend it up. There we go. And then we could fill in our dirt. So let's get rid of this. Get our dirt out and fill in our dirt. Filling in the dirt. Filling in the dirt. Okay, enough for the salt. There we go. <laughs> get rid of that. And there we go. Beautiful. Now what we do is come into the inside and then we're going to put our block of choice down here as well. I'm using white wool. So we put our block of choice in right here, here, and then we come to this bottom hand side right inside the creation over here. There it is. And then we come down two blocks and down one block over here. And that's it. Everything should be nice and concealed now. So if I click this, you can't see down there. Beautiful. All right, guys, so that's how you build my super simple, well, actually, it's just a simple tree door. Now, if you want to put a T flip flop in here so you have a button instead of a lever, here's your input block right here. Of course, you know that's your input block since uh, that's where I put the lever. So here's your input block so you know you can put your T flip flop out here and have a button on the inside of your tree base when you come out, you know, make a whole big underground base thing or whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the whole video. Peace. Close tree door. Close.